Toad everyone, welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I'm Helen. We are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow, where we dye yarn and make bags. And uh, you can find us all over as Toad Hollow NJ on Instagram, Pinterest, uh, Facebook. We are Toad Hollow NJ on Ravelry. We, we, Ravelry, we are the Crafty Toads. And we have a Facebook group that is called Crafting with the Toads, where people come and make me want to just stop working and do everything <laughs> that they are doing. Um, so, welcome! Today is Friday, Friday, March 26th, 7th, you think? 7th. You're right, it is March 27th, go with Helen, just... Um, anyway... It is the afternoon. We were going to podcast this morning, and they're cutting up our street in front of us, and there was yeah. just all sorts of noise. And so we went to the supermarket, and then Ooh. when we came, we came back, I mean, okay, so... People it, are not on their best behavior during this crisis. At the supermarket, Helen's looking at vegetables, and somebody was breathing over her neck, and she's like, look, I don't normally do this, but step back! <laughs> I did not say that. I'm like... Excuse me, I would not normally ask, but could you please give me my six feet? Step that shit back! So then we come back, and... No, 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 first, then I met the guy, then I was in another aisle where I was trying to decide what I wanted, and he wouldn't come down the aisle because I was in the aisle, and he's like, how long are you planning to be? <laughs> well, just a little bit longer. <laughs> so, we got everything... <laughs> Which, can I tell you, we a lot of lot. stuff. <laughs> we needed pantry staples, which we found out during our two-week quarantine that we don't have pantry right. staples. So we got those, and then we got chocolate, and then we <laughs> got, uh, except for my mom, staple. got some more chocolate. <laughs> anyway, we loaded, oh, and I'm going through the self-checkout, because... You know, six feet, just right. giving everybody their space. So um, I went through the self-checkout, and I'm pretty sure I was pissing everybody off because I had a lot of groceries. <laughs> get through. Get everything in our car. Come back. They are now cutting. They've gone around. We're on a corner lot, so they've gone around the front of the building, and now they're coming down the side, and I'm trying to get into my driveway, and the guy's like, no, you can't come this way. You have to go back. I'm like, I live right there. He's telling me, you can't go across the wire or whatever this tube thing is. I'm like, what do you want me to do? I live right there. And he's doing something where... Well, it was being extremely unhelpful and rude. The entire street in front of our house is completely blocked off with men and people. And, you know, ditches that you'd have to right. drive across. And now... He's telling me I can't come up the side street, and there's there's no other way to get to my driveway. But aside from the fact that there is one house that is occupied on this block. Right. One. That's it. So, Spike was very, very upset. I'm just letting you know. Well, because Spike was inside and we were outside. We have a new camera that we got Which a while ago. Which is when Magbeth was doing her little spiel. I was staring all over the place. I don't know where to look. Um, <laughs> we got this new camera a while ago, and Helen finally is getting... She's the one that figures out the videoing and she's she was figuring out what to do so we finally figured it out i think it's a good picture though i think it, it's a phenomenal picture you're gonna love it and trust me you get to see so much more <laughs> we're gonna put a piece of nylon across the <laughs> through a screen okay uh anyway so today we wanted to tell you about our new yarn yes okay so first off a lot of you guessed what our fairy tale oh, well, was. Yeah, I mean, the, the final once we clue is not hard. If once we, we kind of turned you away from Snow White, then everybody <laughs> went in the right direction. I was going to say, all we have to do is put a glass slipper up there. and <laughs> I was going to put a mouse. <laughs> or maybe Lucifer. Yeah. <laughs> so our our fairy tale is Cinderella. Um, and Cinderella, Cinderella, <laughs> all we hear is... <laughs> so we, uh, Helen has been working on her Duna shawl in the Cinderella colors, and they're so pretty way to see them. Oh, I'm so in love with these. So, for those who are joining us for the first time, each month Welcome we... Welcome to the circuit. <laughs> Let me put it out there. Each month we release a new fairy tale yarn. Um, we have so, picked 12 fairy tales that we're doing over the year. Right. And we have been releasing one at the beginning of each month. And this is April's. Right. And they 
uh, enter our rotation and stay there for a while. Right. Um, so April's rotation is Cinderella. So uh, what we do is we normally dye uh, two yarns for the Cinder for the uh, the fairy tale. All right. So first up, first up is Cinderella. This is Cinderella. So it's very light blue. It's and looking it's kind, kind of turquoise, and yeah. I'm hoping it's not going to come out like that. Um, it is blue. It, it is, is a very baby. pale blue. Think of Cinderella's ball dress, ball gown right. in the Disney movie, and that is the blue. A little bit of gray for the glass slipper, and a little bit of gold for her hair. So It is not Cinderella. It is Cinderella. So if you're looking for it, make sure you put a Y at the end, not an A. Okay, and then our second yarn is Bippity Boppity. And this I don't think is coming. Oh, well, no, maybe no, it is coming it. out. Maybe it's but coming out. But it is out. the okay. palest, palest pink. It is a very pale pink. With just a little bit of gold for the magic. Amanda, this is for you. So, we sent our sister Amanda a, um, a set preview. of the cup, a set, one of each of them. And, oh my God, this is so her color. So these are available in the shop now. Um, we are only doing these in fingering right uh, right now. But if you would like in uh, DK or worsted, just send us a message. We will dye them for you. Um, we just wanted. We just figured with the lighter colors, it was probably going to be just a fingering uh, weight. But if you do, please. Yeah, just, just let, let us, us know. But Helen's going to show you her shawl. Normally we have finished objects, but. I went with a whole big shawl this time. So I am working uh, the Dunesh shawl by Greta Menson. She uh, knit hers all in one color, but there are different uh, sections. There's a cable section and then a textured section. So the textured section section is uh, Cinderella and then the cable is uh, bippity boppity. You're about to lose your cable needle. There it goes. Yeah. It's on the ground. Okay. We'll just have to get Tabitha it. Tabitha will take it and put it in her food. Oh my goodness. Tell me how pretty this is. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. Okay, so you can see the textures. It's a really, really fun shawl to knit. Okay, so no wait. Did you say that the cable was bippity boppity or Cinderella? Bippity boppity. Okay, I thought you said it was Cinderella. No, anyway, I said the texture okay. was Cinderella. S texture Cinderella. Okay. So that's the cable section there. Wow. That's just so pretty. Again, this is reading green. It's blue. Yeah. It's so blue. On the test that I did, the colors were coming out true, so I'm hoping that. Uh, okay. Let me do it again. So have you got it on a 40 inch needle, a cord? Yeah, no, I'm, I got a lot of stitches now. Um, and how many more sections do you have? I have. Uh, I think I have. Let's see, hold on. I know I have one more of the cable. It's just whether I have two more of the. Okay, I have uh, one of each and then the border. So, so I, have to, I have to finish the one I'm doing. Right. Then I have another blue, another pink, and then the border, which okay. I'm going to do in blue. Oh, man. So pretty. It is. And I'm so upset that we don't have spring shows because this is such a lovely spring shawl. And yeah. It's just, it would be a stop, a showstopper um, to have it hanging in the booth. But, you know, there's next year. And with the way we feel about these colors, I have a feeling yeah. they're not going anywhere. Oh, stunning. Yeah. These are these may be my favorite so far this year. It is really, really beautiful. Little Tabitha, little Spike, little Dudley. <laughs> I think the only one you're a missing. A little Cinderella. <laughs> little me, probably. The only one you're missing is True. Yeah. Poor True. True's in there too. So Cool beans. So, love the colors. 
And I love the shawl. Yeah, it's and fun to I knit. Really, right? You know what? We have been off shawl knitting right? um, for a long time now. I like knitting shawls. Yeah. Um, and this one is fun because it keeps you interested, but not too, too technical. So Yeah, I was just saying to Helen that I, um, I actually am giving up my stitching time and knitting instead because yeah. I'm really excited about what I'm knitting. I'm actually, I actually look forward to my knitting. Right. Um, so, yeah. It is beautiful. All right, my um, knitting that I've been working on, I've been fairly monogamous, monogamous in my knitting, is the Olive Pink by Casa Pinkett. And that is where I am so far. So it is coming along. I have done all this section here. I actually finished up this section, did all this section. You did this one fast. And now I am doing it is blue with a stripe with stripes of pink. It's just spot on. And I think there are. Is that section 19? Mm-hmm. I believe there are 20, 20 sections plus the border. And what section are you on? And 15, section 15 has section 15 and 15A. Okay. So, and 15B. Okay. So there are actually 22 sections plus the border. I am on section Two. six. Oh, well, that's not too bad. No, I think I'm on section so six. So you're almost halfway there. Out of 22, you think <laughs> six is halfway there? Okay, this is why I do all the money. I'm thinking 15. I don't know why, because <laughs> you were saying section 15. I'm like, oh, you're almost halfway there. But yeah, okay. Okay, well, six is almost halfway there. Okay. That I'll give you. No, I'm on section six. So I am doing that. Um, but yeah, no, I just, I, that's, that is where I am. I love it. I'm just having so much fun with it. So um, for those of you that are um, first time seeing this, I am doing this. It's a four color shawl. I am doing it. The pink is Mowage. The blue is As You Wish. The yellow is Rodents of Unusual Size or R-O-U-S. And the green is Gilder. So all of our Princess Bride colors yep. minus two. This is Princess Bride. And just, ah. Uh, and we have um, kits in the shop uh, for that. That colorway and three other colorways. Four. To, we four have five all together. Oh, do we? Okay, we so have we have altogether. five uh, different options for the the kit. Oh, you ju just look for the olive pink yeah. uh, kit. And um, so I'm doing that. And then um, I put a challenge out to Helen and a friend of ours to look at the front page of Ravelry and find patterns, find a pattern that you really want to cast on. And I found this. This is the Cromwell Pullover. It's um, by Blue Sky Fibers. And it's a raglan sweater that is just a live-in sweater. Yeah. There's nothing really fancy about it. It's done in DK. Is and that part of it? No, that's her t-shirt. Okay. Um, it's just a really, really comfortable sweater that you wear all the time. And I really want to knit it, but I'm thinking I'm going to finish this first, which means I should probably be like halfway through the summer, but <laughs> finish this first. And then I'm pretty sure this is the next thing I'm casting on because I have cast off two sweaters. So I think I really well, do get you have, to cast on. What do you have? Your Novelli and that's it? Yeah. That's it. That's I mean, all I got. As far as sweaters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the Novelli is not calling my name at all. Yeah. I love the colors. It's just not. Well, you I have to have pick a completed up. one to wear, I so know. it's not like you need another one. Well, um, but I have to, um, I think I need to pick it up and look at it again. Yeah. And then I might get more interested in it, but this I am loving. Absolutely could, loving. The Novelli is the kind of thing, because probably where you are, have you split? Yeah. Is you just do, like, yeah. I do three rows a day, and then I can do what I want. So, this is coming up soon, just saying. I really like the great sweater, the Tannis, the City Limits. That I'm is really, a cool. I'm, I'm thinking of doing that in the fairies, because it's a it's a fade sweater, but it's again a, just a 
straight pullover, comfortable sweater. Oh Look at her. I love that idea. The fairies so are going to be I'm, so I'm thinking beautiful. of taking our spring fling um, set and fading that. Oh, right? Is it fingering? Uh, no, but she's double. She held fingering double, so you can either do DK or fingering. We'll just do double. We'll do DK. We'll yeah. die DK. We're going to have a DK die day. Yeah. Because I'm kind of thinking, for those of you that were part of our... Um, our uh, our, our, our Yarn of the Month Club last year, we did Mythical Beasts, and May was the, um, the Griffin, the Griffin, the Royal Griffin, and it's all soft browns and golds so and grays, and so pretty, and I'm really thinking that that would be beautiful. We're, we're actually, we were talking about this morning, we're thinking of bringing that one back and entering it into the regular Harry Potter rotation. Right. Because it's a nice neutral to pull down the brightness of all the Harry Potter colors. Yeah, but it's, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Also, this would look very, very good in Moonstone. Which, by the way, shocker. Yeah. The winner of Toad Hollow March Yarnness. Da da da! <laughs> it was Moonstone. Was there Moonstone. was never really any doubt. Um, most of the other colors. We're in tight battles uh, in each round that right. they went through. Moonstone was never... Even nope. when it was up against Christmas at, Christmas at Hogwarts, it just... It blew everything. It blew everything out of the water. The closest it came was Crawdads, because Crawdads went ahead very briefly during the day when it was uh, up against Moonstone, but again... Didn't we have to break the tie with Christmas at Hogwarts? Or was that the first round? That was the first round. That was the first round. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, anyway... I am thinking that this would be gorgeous in Moonstone. So, um, I'm thinking it's, it's going to be too. gorgeous in any of our variegated colors because yeah. there's no um, pattern. pattern to it. It's just a straight knit so that it's perfect for the variegated. So you right. get the, the yarn gets to speak for itself. Right. So. Or right. tonal. I mean, it, it'll work on anything. I'm really thinking that I may be casting this on very soon. So, depending on how bad things get. Yeah. Okay, all right, so that was our big thing. Yeah, Cinderella. Cinderella is in the shop. Cinderella, Cinderella. I think we have to go watch Cinderella now. Okay, I could do that. We're supposed to have them. So in love with these colors. <laughs> oh, they're so perfect. They really are. It's perfect. Maybe for I'll spring. do my city limits in these two. Because, you know, I can't knit with them enough. No, because you know what? That's going to look stripey then. Yeah. You do the, uh, the, do the, fairies. the fairies, it'll blend. Yeah. It'll be a fade the way it's supposed to be. That is going to be such a gorgeous sweater. The fairies? The yeah. fairies. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be so pretty. Yeah. Wow. We may be casting on sweaters. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Well, it's coming up. You know, we every single year we cast on sweaters for, for the, the summer. summer. Yeah. I have two that I have to finish. One of them was one I cast on last summer. Very good going. Well, now that I don't have to finish that. No, you want to finish that. Uh, no, I do want to finish the Dunas, but I, I mean, I was focusing completely on it because I was trying to get it done for this week, but I should realize that that was not going to happen. So now I have to dye yarn. I can't do anything till I dye no, yarn. No, we have to dye yarn. So I have to dye the yarn first, but then you could work like two days on the sweater and a couple days on the yeah. Prepare yourselves. And since, you know, at some point we're going to figure out the formula to make a day 48 hours, we have all the time in the world. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> we're going to be casting on sweaters. So, this is mine. Cromo pullover. Helen is the city limits by yeah. uh, Tannis Fiber Arts. Pick your sweater. Start looking for yarn. Let us know what you need. Okay. I think that's it, right? I think so. That was it. Yeah. I do want to say... Thank you so, so much to everybody who's been purchasing stuff from us, yes. yarn and everything. Thank you guys so much. With everything that's going on, you guys, bright points in our day. So yeah. thank you very much. Also, also if you have uh, orders, um, we are limiting our post office runs to um, twice a week. Um, so that we limit our interaction with the post office. Uh, so they are going out uh, tomorrow. So uh, just to, I think there are like one or two where we still have to dye a color that came in later this week. Um, but other than that, everything should be going out this week. So if you're waiting on your package and you're waiting on your notification. It's coming. It's coming. Okay. So um, 
Debbie do to you um, left us a comment on our last podcast yesterday talking about how she dropped off Jersey Mike subs for them for her um, daughter and her grandkids through the fence and then drove away um, and I just wanted to say to you because she said that her grandkids came running out yelling Nan is here we used to come home from school and if we saw the white car that was my grandmother's car it was the most wonderful yeah. day when we would drive home from school and when we'd be dropped off from school and we would see the car sitting there. Mainly because she kept my mom occupied. <laughs> <laughs> there was that because she always made my mother have, be in a much better mood. Also, she always brought coffee cake, which was really nice. But having your grandmother come yeah. by, just know that even if they don't say it to you now, it will mean something to them. Because I remember still the feeling. Yeah. I can still feel it of coming home, walking home from school, and seeing my grandmother's and there car. there were one or two times where you'd come out of school and she was there to pick us up. Just, right. <gasps> what is going on? Right. Right. It just made, oh my God, it yeah. made our day. So, and I know I never told her and I hope she knew, but right. just so you know, it just, just reading that made me feel it all over again. So know that. Yeah, no, we were blessed to have my our maternal grandparents so close. That yes. We could see them all the time. And it, oh, made our day. Yeah. Absolutely made our day. So um, just know that. Okay. All right. So we good? I think we're good. All right. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, I hope you have good plans for the weekend. I, I know that they the days now just kind of. I know I'm seeing people on Instagram that are putting up. I'm just putting it out there for anybody who might need to know this. Today is Wednesday. <laughs> it's like, actually, thank you, because that really does right. help. <laughs> but hopefully you have something fun planned for the weekend. Yeah. Um, we're trying to work out a virtual game night with our friends. So Yeah, um, that would be fun. Yeah. But uh, we are planning to go up to Montclair tomorrow to see my mom and my brother. Um, my mom is very excited about this because she hasn't seen anybody. Yeah. So, um, we did their food shopping today, so yeah. we will be bringing them food. And, um, so now we have to go make cookies. Yeah. Which is, you know. Maybe it gets to make the cookies and I get to edit the video. There you go. Okay. We will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Have a great day, everybody. Yes.